created the art of spirituality. Watch this for entertainment. Look at somebody and say, get back in Zion.
This started in 1986. When I was 17 years old, and my father was pastoring in the body, and he said, son, I need you to do yourself together. Without hesitation, without hesitation, without a pondering a fight, it's because when you love people, yeah. and you love your leaders, you do whatever you need to do to make your leaders look good in the proof. Exactly. And my dad told me I was 17 years old in a mess. And said to me, I need you to get yourself together. We was in, we was in this bedroom. I just got through cutting his grass. Just got through talking, dealing with all the German shepherds and Doma pictures he had. And I walked in the house, mother. Josephine and dad was sitting in the bed. I said, you all right? He said, yeah, my feet hurt. Got on, his, on my knees and I started rubbing his feet. Took his socks off, went get some water, hot water, some hot some salt. And said, daddy, did you take your medication? Made sure everything was done. And on my way coming back, he said, I need you to get yourself together. Yeah. The art of spirituality, watch this, for Entertainment. Look at somebody and say, get back in Zion. Get, get back, back in Zion. Zion. Listen, listen. Here's what Zion does. Here's what it does. The whole, as I said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Yes. For Because of the Lord, because of the Lord, the Lord has anointed me yeah. to preach good tidings unto the meek. Yeah. Stop right here. Good tidings, good tidings mm -hmm. unto the meek. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. We can preach all of the good tidings we want to. Right. Yes. But when we're preaching to a bold Hard-headed church. Right. It becomes null and void. Right. Listen, let me share something with you. Everything sitting under you, I'm talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you simply because of what you just got into. Yes, Amen? Yes, Watch this. You can preach all you want to, but I want you to read Matthew chapter number 13. Yes, okay? It talks about the sower and the seed. And if you notice, the sower sowed good seed. But only a quarter of the seed fell in good place. Watch this. Everybody was in the same place. They weren't in the same condition. The fire is brighter. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. It is so. Amen. Lady who worked for an airline. And she worked for 30 years doing stewarding across the continents, serving other people. So when she retired, her daughter actually was a background singer for Kirk Franklin. So when she retired, she would go and she would see her daughter. And she gave money passes to go on home. So it just so happens that when her daughter was singing, her pastor was preaching in the same vicinity. And she couldn't get a buddy pass home. But for some reason, the pastor had a private jet. And she was like, well, well mother, just come on. You can go on home with us. So when she got on this beautiful plane, leather chairs and wood walls, she immediately put on her steward hat and began to serve her pastor. Wow. That she's a guest on this plane. Right. And he said, well, mother, you don't have to do all that. They got people that the, the charter company will pay folks to do that. She said, no, no. For the last 30 years, I've served the people. How dare I get amongst my leadership and not serve him? Yeah. We have to be better servants. Yeah, you know we do. We find time to do anything and everything outside of the walls of the church. And the church ends up getting what's last. 
or they stay away, it's still a victory. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I heard that at a funeral one time. Say, you know, they might they might heal Auntie. Modern science might be able to cure her of all her cancers. And that will be victorious. Well, shout will jump the rumble speaking tongues. But God decided that he was going to take her to a paradise that we haven't seen yet that we're all striving to get to. So it's still victory. We're still going to run and jump and speak in tongues. 